Big new development tonight in the case of a man accused of sh going on a shooting spree targeting homeless people both in New York City and here in D.C. Virginia's attorney general says it is proof that Fairfax Commonwealth's attorney needs to step aside from his job. That's because he made the decision to reduce charges against the man accused in the shootings from a case in Fairfax County. As 7 News' Nick Minock reports, all new at 6, it's the latest in a series of battles between these two powerful prosecutors. Virginia Attorney General Jason Miara says Fairfax County Commonwealth Attorney Steve Descano failed victims and their families again. This individual actually served what should have been the proper amount of time. He would not have been back on the street. He would not, the serial killer would not have been able to find more victims. On Tuesday, MPD arrested Gerald Brevard for allegedly killing two homeless men and shooting three others in Washington, D.C. and New York. Documents obtained by the 7 News I team show Brevard had 88 prior criminal charges dating back to 2009, and he struggled with mental health issues. In December 2020, Brevard was arrested in Fairfax County and charged with burglary and abduction, a felony. It's a penalty of up to life in prison in Virginia. Another charge was burglary, which is up to five years. Uh, it was reduced to a misdemeanor in which the individual, my understanding, was served only five and a half months in jail uh, and got back on the streets. Your job as a prosecutor is not also to serve as a defense counsel. That's exactly the mindset that it seems like he has brought to this role where he has reduced charge after charge after charge, any chance he has had. 7 News requested an interview of Descano. Instead of an interview, his staff pointed 7 News to a series of tweets. On Wednesday, Descano called the attorney general's comments uninformed, scaremongering, and Descano called the AG's competence into question. Descano also said the attorney general is lying and probably just blowing off steam after what he calls a shameful effort to weaponize the trauma of victims. Miares calls Descano's statement tone deaf. He's not listening to those victims, uh, people that would be alive today, but for the fact that he's failing to do his job. If you're not willing to do your job, step aside. In Fairfax, Nick Minox, 7 News.